Well, congratulations, Rock and Mr. E and Breitbart and Rebel Media. Congratulations. Your philosophy on the political spectrum is taking over YouTube. But back in reality, where we have the real political compass, where the bottom is anarchy and the top is totalitarianism, people on this platform who used to be on the left are now on the right while claiming they're actually on the left because they believe in things that some, I repeat, some Republicans actually believe in now that they never did before, like gay marriage and universal health care. And they believe in other things that just about everyone except Westboro Baptist Church and the KKK believe in, like not throwing gay people off buildings, not enslaving black people, not raping women, and not murdering people in cold blood. These people will defend fundamentalist religious Republicans as if those Republicans are actually just slightly misguided left-wingers. The same arguments used to defend them are the same ones used to defend Sargon of Akkad from being called a right-winger, the same arguments used to defend Dave Rubin from being called a right-winger, the same arguments used to defend a lot of fake liberals on this platform from being called right-wingers. Guess what? Having even a teeny tiny little bitty minuscule amount of journalistic integrity and not constantly cramming religion down people's throats doesn't make you a left-winger. Just because you argue something from an atheistic point of view and give a lot of statistics and facts doesn't make you a left-winger. I mean, thanks for the compliment towards the left, but none of those things make people like Sargon or Dave left-wingers. If you want to go around acting like you're so enlightened because you firmly believe that you've swallowed the red pill and now you use the political philosophy of Rock and Mr. E and Breitbart and Rebel Media, fine, but don't try to convince others of your lunacy. You see, most of the reasonable left-wingers have already left this platform or they stopped making political videos altogether. And as more left-wingers leave this platform, most of the ones that are still here are the batshit crazy ones who either have a really thin skin and are ready to report anyone for hate speech who disagrees with them, or they have a really thick skin and are highly hated because they're a brick wall and are unreasonable. Then we have a lot of larger left-wing media sources here on YouTube, but they're all considered left-wing propaganda by the new Rockin' Mr. E, Breitbart, and Rebel Media political spectrum standards that have taken over the platform. So some of the few channels that are on the left that remain reasonable are ones like The David Pakman Show and Secular Talk, but guess what? Even those channels are considered SJW channels by some of these lunatics who want to redefine what politics are. And it's funny to me that these people who want to redefine politics all around have such a problem when people on the left redefine words. I mean, do as I say, not as I do, right? So you want to redefine the left to mean totalitarian. And any totalitarianism on the right isn't really totalitarianism on the right. It's actually the left wing taking over the right somehow in your brainwashed little minds. Because, you know, the political compass is a lie unless it's an Islamic country. And now suddenly the political compass is valid again. This means that anything on the left leads to totalitarianism, and anything on the right leads to freedom, again, in your brainwashed little minds. So okay, fine. Enjoy your delusions and support everything we've been fighting against for decades because at least it isn't left-wing. But you're really a left-winger, but not in reality, you just want the label in order to look more tolerant. And also so people can't call you out for constantly parroting right-wing talking points. You can just reply by saying, well, I'm a liberal, and it's supposed to end the conversation. It's supposed to stop people from criticizing the fact that you're continually parroting right-wing talking points. You see, now that Republicans are basically being viewed as slightly misguided left-wingers, we're in for a real ride. Keep taking those red pills. I'm sure that the saccharine water will give you cancer.